So let's go ahead and move on to another collage. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go to Mosaic, and then just like that, everything gets switched around. Now, you'll notice here, it um, doesn't look quite as good as I want it to, so um, I might want to kind of change things around a little bit, maybe even remove a picture because you know, it might not be always be the same, the same thing that I want to. So first thing I want you to notice is I have this grid spacing. <laughs> So grid spacing allows me to actually create little lines in between each of these pictures. So let's go ahead and do that first and then I'll make the arrangements of the picture. So I click on that little slide rule and you'll notice that I'm getting some cool little grids there. All right, makes it like you're really creating a nice collage. And I'm gonna change the solid color just like I did. I'm gonna change it to white. Okay, just so you can really see a distinction between all of them. And then I'm gonna change my page format to something different. I'm going to make it like maybe an 8 by 10. So that way I can kind of get maybe just a different format. That 16 by 9 is a little bit too long and doesn't really work well with all the pictures. Okay, and then I can also do my draw shadows. You see there, and you can see on the lines, it looks like it's a little bit lifted off or not. You know, it's going to be entirely up to you. Okay, then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say shuffle pictures because now I'm just going to kind of just wait and see for me to actually get the pictures that I want. Okay, and that little girl's head keeps getting cut off. So she might not actually be the best um, picture for me um, for this. So what, I, what can I do? It's I can easily click her picture and notice I have this orange box that comes around and I can remove her. And as soon as I remove it, you'll notice that the collage will update now with the, with the different amount of pictures here. Okay, and now I have what I think is maybe a better collage than what I had before. Okay, so you can see that, and I can always come back, so I'm going to come back to my settings here, because once I remove something, it takes me to my clips. So I'm going to go back to settings, and I'm going to maybe bring down my grid spacing a little bit, and I think that looks pretty neat. Okay, so again, this is going to be about playing around with it. Now let's go ahead and try working with a frame mosaic, and it says a mosaic with a prominent center picture. So now, it takes me here, and... I see that, you know, maybe that's not what I want. So I'm going to come over here and do shuffle pictures. Okay, and I kind of want that Africa picture to be in the center. Let's see if I can click it enough until it finally gets there. Shuffle pictures, shuffle pictures. There it is, finally. Actually, I take that back. So I could have actually selected this picture. Let me shuffle the pictures for a second. And I could have actually selected this picture and then come over here and set, did set as frame center. Oops, maybe it was this one. Okay, and then that gives you um, the option to do that. All right, so if I do, yeah. Okay, so then you can kind of just you know play around with it after that. Okay, now you also have the option, um, if your picture is not coming in the right way, like we actually saw with that girl with her head getting cut off, um, this is actually <clears throat> a good thing to know about. You can right click on these pictures and you can rotate them as well. So if I want to rotate her 90 degrees or maybe I want to rotate um, 180 degrees so she's kind of like that or whatever, um, that, that actually might, um, let's just see, yeah, so you might want to just kind of play around with those a little bit until you get it, okay? Um, and then, yes, we have the draw shadows in addition to that. Okay, so um, that's our frame mosaic, our grid, pretty straightforward. That just kind of gives you a grid up and down. Um, and our contact sheet, thumbnails with an informative header. Okay, so that's basically, you know, let's say you're a photographer and you just have all your little thumbnails. You just want to show all the different pictures you have or kind of making kind of like wallet size. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got our multiple exposure. Multiple exposure doesn't tend to work too well with with more than you know a couple of pictures, and because you don't have a whole lot of control with it, um, you know it's best for kind of abstract things. So if I do multiple exposure, it's going to take all six of these pictures on top and put them on top of each other. I don't really want to do that. Okay, so really what I probably want to do is you know delete some of these out first. Okay, so I can delete this one. You know, delete this one. And then maybe just have, you know, a few of them in here, you know, maybe just two, and then try that. Okay, go back to settings, <coughs> excuse me, multiple exposure, kind of see what that looks like there. So with two pictures, that's actually kind of a neat effect. You've got faces upon faces with 
with the Africa built into it. And this Africa, by the way, I put that in there in, in Photoshop and another program altogether. All right, so when you're done, all you do is click on Create Collage, and then you wait, and then it tells you In Progress, and depending on how many pictures you have, that's how long you're going to wait. And then it's done. All right, now this collage is ready to be sent. It's ready to be um, edited if you want to. You can put text on this. Um, you can make black and white. You can do all kinds of different things, all right, just like you normally would. All right, and you can also edit the collage by clicking on Edit, and it'll remember where you were before, and then you can do all kinds of different things to it as well. All right, and it brings you back to where you just were. Okay, so that's going to conclude our lesson on collages. Um, have fun with it, be creative, experiment, and uh, have fun.